guys, so today I will be taking a rest day at home. I've been feeling pretty sore and pretty tired. I've been doing a lot of really big mild days, so I figured today would be a good day to take a break and recover. I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what one of my rest days looks like. I'm also going to try and get some work done, um, work on repacking my stuff for when I go back out to hike. And then I also want to give you all a short tour of Fontana from a hiker's perspective. I'm going to start off my day by drinking some coffee, um, doing some writing for my freelance clients, and then also editing some YouTube videos for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the best things about taking a rest day is that I get to spend some time with my sweet kitty. So this is Ellie. She is so sweet, but also a little troublemaker. And I have literally missed her so much while on trail. I think you are the messiest eater that I've ever seen, Ellie. But that's okay because I still love you. So in my opinion, one of the best ways to relax after doing a lot of hiking is to take a bath with some Dr. Teal's. Um, so this is the Restore and Replenish Mineral Soak. Um, to me, it kind of smells pretty floral, but it's definitely good for uh, your muscles. And as you can see, it says it helps ease aches and soreness. <laughs> So now that I'm done with my bath, I am working on putting together my resupply for when I go back out. Um, so I've not really been eating very much food, so this is what I plan on taking for two nights and three days. I'm guessing once the hiker hunger kicks in, I will be taking a lot more food than this. Um, but this is similar to what I've been taking out the past few days, and I've probably not even eaten like half of my food so far, to be honest. So for this resupply, I have my breakfast items. Um, I have some mini muffins, which are completely smushed at this point because they've been in my bag. Um, I also have a chocolate mocha donut that has coffee in it. Um, I have two packets of tea, and then I have some grits and some oatmeal. So this will be enough for two breakfasts while out on trail. Um, the next thing I have is my snacks. So as you can see, I have a large bag of combos, um, some Nature Valley bars, some crackers. I also have some candy, some of these fruit bars, which are actually really good. Um, some nut mixes, some other types of granola bars, some beef sticks, and uh, just some other random items in there. So of all the things that I've been eating, I would say um, snacks is like the main thing I've been eating. I've not really been stopping to eat lunch. I've mainly just been snacking throughout the day. I do have a small bag of items for lunch, so I'm bringing some salami with me, um, a couple peanut butter cups, a Quest bar, and then a Cliff protein bar. So for dinner this week, I will be having a, a beef and mushroom rice, which I dehydrated and made at home. Um, I also have some instant mashed potatoes, which I have been putting uh, these chicken packets and some olive oil in. And then I also have a bag of stuffing to go along with that. So yeah, it's not very much food, but um, this is pretty much what I have been eating since I've been on trail. All right, so since I'm going through my backpack right now and uh, kind of cleaning it out and rearranging it, 
thought it'd be a good time to talk to you guys a little bit about my sleep system and how it's been working for me. So this is my Enlightened Equipment 20 Degree Quilt. Um, I've not been using this quilt. I've actually been using my Marmot Mummy sleeping bag instead. So before I started the trail, I thought that my Marmot bag was a lot warmer than this quilt, um, just because it was a mummy bag. So it did a better job at keeping the cold air out. After being on the trail for a couple days, um, I've noticed that my Marmot bag is like no longer keeping me warm at all. Um, it's a 20 degree comfort rating bag and I've been also using a sleeping bag liner with it and I've been getting cold at night around 37 degrees. When I brought it home this past time, I noticed that the loft in the bag was completely gone and I would show you guys right now, but it's actually in the washing machine, so I can't. Um, but because like the loft is completely gone and it's not really keeping me warm, I figured this time when I go out, I would try using my quill instead of my mummy bag. So I will keep you guys updated on this and let you know if this is any warmer for me. Um, I'm trying not to buy a new sleeping bag because I think the type that I need would be really expensive. So now that I spent some time relaxing and getting ready for my next hike, I figured it would be a good idea to show you guys around Fontana from a hiker's perspective. Okay, so the first stop on the tour is the Fontana Village Pit Stop. Um, which is actually the gas station, but it's probably one of the best spots to resupply on trail. Um, so they have a pretty good selection of instant mashed potatoes, uh, nor pasta and rice sides, and then they also have some other essentials like uh, day packs and pack covers. Over here on this table, you can see that they have lots of different types of granola bars, uh, protein bars, uh, cliff bars, pretty much whatever type of bars you like eating. Um, they also have grits, lots of oatmeal, some fruit cups, plenty of tuna and chicken creations, um, and then just some other little options like pickles and ranch and that type of thing. Um, over on this side, they have a few more options like spam, um, some more tuna, some peanut butter, and just some other essentials that may be a little heavy for hiking. Over here you have some first aid items, some Pop-Tarts, and then some candy and beef jerky. So this is the Fontana Marina. Um, when you come off the AT, you'll actually come up, there's a little side trail like right here. Um, so you'll just come off right there. There are some bathrooms in that little building down there, and then down below is the marina itself. Um, that is where you can get some snacks, some drinks, and a really light resupply if you're coming through here. If you want to continue on the Appalachian Trail when you get here, um, it continues right over here. You can actually see the sign right there. Um, it just goes up that hill, and you can get to the Fontana Hill Inn by going that way. If you decide that you need a resupply or you want to take a break and stay at the lodge, um, you can go down to the marina and ask them to call a shuttle for you. Uh, the shuttle at Fontana is $3 and it will take you to the pit stop and the lodge. It also can take you to the laundry mat. This is the Fontana Village Lodge. Um, if you choose to stay here, be sure to ask for a hiker rate as you can get a discount. All right, this is the inside of the Fontana Village Lodge. Um, they have a very small resupply inside the lodge if you forgot to get something. Um, they also have a nice fireplace, a hiker box, and overall it's just a really good spot to hang out with other hikers and meet new people. You also get to enjoy this beautiful view of the mountains. Down this hallway is the Mountain View Bistro. Um, they have a full-service restaurant and bar, so if you're staying at the lodge, feel free to stop in and eat here. Um, if you come a little bit later in the season, the grill will also be open.
Alright guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed following along during my rest day and also enjoyed the small tour of Fontana Village. Tomorrow I will be getting back on trail for a short day, so I will see you guys then. Bye!